Hello, everyone. Welcome to a transformative night of theater. Graduating top of my class in the Navy Seals. Lover, lover. Duff, duff. It just might be you and me, but that's okay. Because do you really need anyone else? This is art. It took Shakespeare years to plagiarize a sonnet, but any 13-year-old with an internet connection can create the next best copy pasta, and I find that to be beautiful. To be or not to be may have come off as profound centuries ago, but it doesn't quite hit home in the same vein as, say, I don't know, Among Us Cock does. Copy pastas have historically dominated Twitch chats, but have always been met with a power-hungry moderator silencing what I like to call art. So this is what we're doing. Hosting a night of theater dedicated to dramatic readings of Twitch copy pastas. We started looking around at venues, but none of these theaters had availability on such short notice. The only place I could find was doing a performance of Rent during the week and our compromise that we would just use this set as well, I suppose. We could squeeze in a Sunday show because Rent was going on Monday through Friday, and I would like to mention, this was not Rent. This was Rent Jr. It was performed by kids in elementary school, and I just want to say, this is an actual SNL skit. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to tell anyone how to parent, but I, I just don't think they know what Rent is about. So this was our set, and they told us to take it or leave it. Thank you. When we applied for it online, it gave us an option to use their sound engineers, production assistants, and even left a mysterious option for gophers. Like a gopher is one thing, but it was a it was a gopher with a picture and everything. So with the venue locked, all I needed was a cast. Selling this to other creators was gonna be a little difficult, so I hosted a dinner party and invited everyone over for pizza. Little did they know that they have all been cast in my latest project. Hey everyone. I have an announcement to make. I have been working on this huge project since 11 a.m. today. And uh, tomorrow I am hosting a theater where we're going to recite Twitch coffee pastas. Thank you. Um, and you're, you're all in it. Congratulations. They were thrilled. If I learned anything about the American education system, it's that you can convince people to do anything as long as you throw a pizza party. And despite our incredible cast, I realized that the branding was probably not strong enough on its own to draw a crowd with less than 24 hours remaining, so I left the party to go look for that extra amount of star power. If we could get a celebrity attached to this event, we would be able to sell out this 99-person venue easily. Hey, what's poppin', hooligans, event wedding planners, moms and dads? <laughs> Book me now for your next event and let me help you take it to our next level. Whether you got a wedding coming up and you want me to sing, it's a beautiful night. We're looking for something to He's do. perfect. So we got a Bruno Mars impersonator on the phone and he was surprisingly cooperative. All he asked for was a script and a paycheck he has yet to earn. Since he asked for the money up front, I decided to test him by providing him Bruno Mars lyrics to read, but intentionally messing them up. And sure enough, he passed the test as he responded with the correction immediately. And the last thing I really needed was to put together a poster to advertise the event, as well as make some programs to make it feel like an authentic theater experience. So instead of using the gophers to hand out posters, I simply tweeted it out a singular time and hoped for the best. And with a great night behind me, I went to bed knowing that the future of theater was just about to change. The Copy Pasta Theater may be primed and ready for opening night, but we haven't even had our first rehearsal yet. It didn't help that literally 0% of our cast showed up on time to practice lines, but a crowd sure did. Which wasn't a terrifying realization at all. The day may have started with technical difficulties in a room with no air conditioning, but at least we had the set of Rent Jr. and Bruno Mars. So with everyone in our cast finally in attendance, it was time for our first and only dress rehearsal. And welcome to a transformative night of theater. Yeah, or whatever, and I'll just, yeah, I'll do that. And I'll, I'll, I'll go until whatever. I will shit fury all over you. I'm not saying this to be funny. I genuinely mean it when I say this is bottom barrel embarrassment at comedy. So yeah, you're gonna get it by now. And for some reason, the dress rehearsal went perfect, even though it shouldn't have. Nobody messed up their lines, not even a single person. So there I was, about to close out a game of League of Legends. 
So there I was. I did my absolute best to look like I've put a lot of thought into this event. So I was pretty surprised when everyone just believed me. And the same goes for the audience. I didn't even mention what this event was. I just said it was a pop-up theater and nobody questioned it. So not even the crowd knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a transformative night here. I have collected some of the most talented people I know to help me plagiarize several other works. <laughs> this night will be a night of emotion, of rage, of intimacy. And I hope at least one of these pieces will speak to you tonight. So, give a round of applause for our incredible cast that consists of your favorite YouTubers, starving actors, and most importantly, Bruno Mars! <laughs> the first piece of the night will be spoken by yours truly. I picked it out myself as it spoke to me when I was in a, in a dark place. So it means a lot to be reading it before all of you. This is, uh, Grandpa's Cigarettes. I was... My grandfather smoked his entire life. I was about 10 years old when my mom told him, if you ever want to see your grandchildren graduate, you have to stop immediately. Tears welled up in his eyes when he realized what exactly was at stake. <laughs> He gave it up immediately. Three years later, he passed away due to lung cancer. My mom asked me, please, don't ever smoke. Please, do not do to your family what your grandfather did to us. And I agreed. At age 25, I've never touched a cigarette, but I have the slightest sense of regret never having done it. Because your post gave me cancer anyways. <laughs> and welcome to Copy Pasta Theater! What the fuck did you just fucking say to me, you little bitch? I'll do it. I'll have you know that I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. Oh my god. I guess we're doing this now. I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al Qaeda. I have over 300 confirmed kills. I am. Um, Trained in guerrilla warfare. I'm the top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. So you are nothing to me but just another target! I like the store. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I will wipe you the fuck out. <laughs> With precision, the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. You can mark my fucking words. So this performance is what we like to call a one-player game. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit about me on the internet? Huh? Well, think again, fucker! Give me that shit. <laughs> give me that goddamn, give me that, man. Yeah. As we speak, I am contacting my secret network of spies <laughs> all across the USA. And your IP is being traced right now. So you better prepare for the storm! Oh, may I get? The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing that you call your life. You're fucking dead, kid. What are your thoughts on that angle right there? No, we're not gonna. <laughs> I can be anywhere, 
any time, and I can kill you in over 700 different ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I extensively trained in unarmed combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the United States Marine Corps, and I will use it to its fullest extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent. You little shit. <laughs> if only you could have known what unholy retribution your clever little comment was about to bring down upon you. Maybe you would have held your fucking tongue. Ha! But you couldn't. And you didn't. And now you're paying the price, you goddamn idiot. Let's go back to you. <laughs> can, can I touch you? Okay. No, no, it's good. I'm good here. I will shit fury all over you. And you will drown in it. One more time? No, 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 it's okay. You're fucking dead, kid. Uh, thank you. Not funny. I didn't laugh. The joke was so bad that I would have preferred the joke flew over my head and you'd given up on retelling me the joke. To be honest, this is a horrid attempt at trying to get a laugh out of me. Not a chuckle. Not a... <laughs> not even a subtle burst of air of my esophagus. Science says that before you laugh, your brain preps your face muscles, but I didn't even feel a single twitch. Zero out of ten. Your joke was so bad that I cannot believe anyone legally allowed you to be creative at all. <laughs> the amount of brain power it must have taken you to come up with that joke has the ability to power every single house on earth. Get a personality and learn how to make jokes. Write a book. I'm not saying this to be funny. I genuinely mean it when I say, this is a horrid bottom barrel attempt at comedy. dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Some people dream of success. You're going to wake up and make it happen. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit. And you're not going to stop there. No. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> if you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. So how is everyone enjoying the show? It's, it's that easy. Um, who likes um, saving money? So who here likes tonight's sponsor, Honey? That's, that's what I expected. So, honey, is like a winter's kiss on a summer's day. And by that, I mean, it's, it's, it's a browser extension. Dedicated. Dedicated. You know. <laughs> Dedicated to saving you money. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to... Buy a pack of Pokemon cards on Amazon. It would cost about eight dollars. 
I know. But with Honey, they, if you have it installed, it will scour the internet for money saving coupons and save you $3 for a pack of Pokemon cards. Yeah. Which, which saves you $300 if you buy 100 packs, that is. <laughs> and if you look around, we have 100 people in the audience tonight. So if you look under your seats, everyone has a pack of Pokemon cards taped underneath. And if you're watching from home, and if you're watching from home, and if you're watching from home, Feel free to click the link in the description or go to joinhoney.com slash alpharad to simply stop being poor. So, y'all get some good shit? <clears throat> Attention, all Fortnite gamers. John Wick is in great danger and he needs your help to wipe out all the squads in the Tilted Towers. To do this, he needs a gold scar and a couple of chug jugs. To help him, all he needs is your credit card number, the three little numbers on the back, and the expiration month and date. <laughs> but you gotta be quick, so John can secure the bag and achieve the epic victory royale. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was only nine years old. Um, I loved Shrek. So Seriously? Yeah, uh, I had all the merchandise, all the movies. Uh, I even prayed to Shrek every night. Shrek is love. Actually. Shrek is life. My dad hears me and calls me a gamer. He hit me and sent me to sleep. My face hurts and I'm crying now. I lay in bed and I'm so cold. But I feel something warm. It's Shrek. I was so happy. He whispers in my ear, this is my swamp. He picks me up with his ogre hands, puts me on my hands and knees. I am ready. <laughs> it hurts so much, but I do it for Shrek. My dad walks in. Shrek looks at him in the eye and says, It's all ogre now. <laughs> Shrek leaves through the window. Shrek is love. Shrek. To remind everyone that this is an 18 plus event for a reason. And, and we're gonna talk later, brother, because <laughs> got in. But I gotta talk to you right now, baby, because it's, it's kind of over. I, and I don't want you to mistake this. It's, it's not your fault. You're poggers. It's, oh my God. it's me. I'm a, I'm a little megalo. I'm not gonna lie to you. And this moment right now, it might feel a little pepe hands, but it, it has to be done. It just has to be done. And, I'm, I'm a bit, you know, papega with everything going on, but let's be honest, the last couple of months, this relationship in general has been a little weird, champ. When I tell you it's over, I mean it, no cap. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. <laughs> The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go right over the typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Maranoia Volia literature. <laughs> well, the fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly realize that 
these jokes aren't just funny. They say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. How could they possibly appreciate the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba, Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons, but you already knew that, of course. <laughs> I'm smirking just thinking about those adulpated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius wit unfolds itself upon their television screens. <laughs> Such fools. How I pity them. And yes, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo, and no, you cannot see it. It is for the ladies' eyes only. <laughs> But even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five IQ points of my own, oh, preferably lower. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. I'm coming back for my 10 minute ban, and I wanted to say that I think it was bullshit. <laughs> yes, I wrote a funny paragraph, which was turned into copy pasta. <sighs> <laughs> which has turned into copy pasta, which happened to bring a laugh or a smile to a few people. If you mods wanted to stop, you could have just said so. There's probably some ego-driven mod in here, and he's the one who banned me. Anyway, glad to be back. Hey everyone. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> um, so sorry, um, I'm gonna actually, I was at, told to do a monologue, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit if that's okay. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be reading something from uh, one of my favorite artists of the late 1900s. Um, and if I can get a little personal, my father, uh, this was his favorite poem. He, re he did recently pass from cancer. Um, yeah, I know. Pretty emotional. But let's just try it out, okay? Mm -hmm. So here we go. We are no strangers to love. <laughs> you know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. <laughs> Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, I miss you, Dad. <laughs> never gonna tell a lie and desert you. This is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. A hundred years from now, when I am dying on a hospital bed, and I am asked what my biggest regret was, it will be that I turned on my computer and scrolled through the internet on that fateful day. No amount of therapy can save me. No amount of prescription pills will help me recover. I am a shell. I mean, this memory is already so bad that my brain is physically rejecting it. I get a headache any time I even think about it. Why did you post this? What made you think that this was a good idea? You have permanently ruined my life because of this. I hope you're happy. No, no, no. I hope that one day this gets branded as a war crime and you will be hauled off to prison never to see the light of day again. I mean, the fact that he's not already in a psych ward for insanity is so baffling to me that I have lost all faith in any kind of justice system. <gasps> And if you subscribe to any religion, I suggest that you spend the rest of your days atoning for this ultimate sin. Have a terrible day. 
I hope this creation of yours haunts you in your dreams. My name is Bruno Mars. I was asked, uh, where'd he go? I was asked by a special friend over here to read a copy pasta, but I actually asked him if I could read a couple lyrics from a new song I have out. I don't know if you've heard it. Uh, it's a new group, Silk Sonic, Anderson Pack. If you guys don't know him, the song's called Leave the Door Open. It's in Fortnite. I ain't playing no games, because every single word that I say is coming straight from the heart. So, if you're trying to lay in these arms, I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. And I'm hoping that you feel the way I feel. And I want you like I want you tonight, baby. Just tell me that you're coming through. Thank you. About what you expected? Yeah. 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 Well, thank you for everyone coming out. This was uh, put together pretty fast, and we announced it today, and somehow we sold out. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I would just like to say that this is a special event for us. We all get to reunite after something and give a just give a round of applause for our incredible cast. And give a round of applause for our incredible crew filming this, putting the show on. And uh, give a round of applause for me for making this happen. But, I have one more monologue for you guys tonight. Okay. This is titled, Miscellaneous Ninja Tweets. The phrase, it's just a game. It's such a weak mindset. okay with what happened <laughs> losing imperfection of a craft there's always something to learn there's always room for improvement never settle Why NFL and college football teams simply allow kickers who miss kicks. I feel like there has to be pools of kickers in the United States of America who will simply not miss kicks. Shittiest reply ever. <laughs> Fortnite requires movement, editing, building, rotating, and hitting shots. <laughs> oh my God. There are not positions in Fortnite. A kicker's job is literally to kick. <laughs> Terrible analogy. Kind of embarrassing. So there I was, carrying a game of League of Legends. 
about to close it out when my brawless wife. That's some nip. Yeah, you get it. That's some nip. Brings me a sandwich. Not asked for. With chips. As I get a double kill bot lane. So, how's your day going? be myself. I do get to be myself. I get to be a very, very um, uh, different part of myself. It's really interesting whenever people come into chat and they accuse me of being fake. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> I don't know who my authentic self is on stream yet. Every single day that I come on here, I discover new things about myself that I feel willing to share with you and new things about myself that feel important to share with you. And and I love sharing them with you, you guys. I really, really do. I surprise myself and I surprise you. I had another streamer recently say I surprised them as well. And discovering that I have the ability to surprise even old pros at this game really, really makes me feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> the wishless destroyer. You're not fake, you're just crazy. Yes, of course I'm crazy. I am crazy in love. I am crazy happy. I am crazy high on life. I really, really like being where I am. I like the people that I'm with and I have felt this way for my entire life. When it was in high school, when it was in elementary school, when it was in university, when it was in college, when I worked at the summer camp, when I worked at the hot dog factory, when I worked at the bikini store, when I worked as a Disney princess, when I'm on Twitch, I find people that I love, I find people that I like and I keep them close to me. The people who come back each and every day are the people that I wanna see each and every day. And the haters can come every day if they want to, and I'll be happy to see you too because at least you're showing me that I'm important to you with your consistency. And if I can be nothing else, it is consistent because I will come back each and every day and I will give you new reasons to love me and I will give you new reasons to hate me because that's what you deserve and that's what I deserve. I wanna see how far I can go. I wanna see what I can do on this platform. I wanna see how far the blanket fort can expand. I want to understand the best parts of myself and I'm not saying that I'm gonna find them on Twitch, but I think that I can find the best parts of myself and I keep going and I keep saying yes and I discover the parts inside of me that I've been too afraid, too ashamed of, too apologetic. Do you know how many times I want to send a boy a picture of my fully exposed vulva and the first instinct is first to apologize for even messaging him in the first place? I want to say, I'm sorry that I'm bothering you. I'm sorry that I'm messaging you. I'm sorry that I'm texting you. I'm sorry I'm DMing you. I'm sorry that I'm talking to you. I'm sorry that I'm caring about you. I'm sorry that I'm trying to figure out who you are because all I want to do is open up enough dialogue so that I can expose everything about myself. The only thing I I want to do is expose who I truly am to you but I feel self-conscious because people tell me that I'm fake and people tell me that I'm faking these things and they tell me that I'm psychotic that I'm ADHD that I'm on drugs that I'm all these horrible things but I'm not what is actually happening here is I love being on Twitch this has been a dream of mine for so many years so many years that I'm embarrassed to talk about it can you imagine meeting a boy that you want to fuck and the first words out of your mouth or all you want to do is be a famous Twitch streamer he's never heard of Twitch he just wants to put his dick in you when you're talking about Twitch well guess what motherfucker sometimes it works out I fucked that motherfucker and he bought me this great big toy because I became a famous Twitch streamer. That motherfucker believed in my dream and he had never even heard of Twitch before. And each and every one of you believes in my dream because I think we can go even further, even higher, even more into the blanket fort and I can only do it with each and every one of you. I know I can't do it by myself. I can literally only do it with each and every one of you and I think that we can. This channel has grown bigger and faster and more intensely than any other channel on Twitch has ever before. The clips are good. Make sure the titles are sexy. Make sure you do me good, guys, because I come in here every day covered in glitter, covered in sequins, covered in booty shorts, covered in nylon, so that I do not violate the terms of service, so that each and every one of you can have both hands on the keyboard, so that you can enjoy the stream, so that you can have a good time listening to me, playing with me, singing with me, smiling with me, enjoying your life, which you do. You do deserve to enjoy every moment of your life you enjoy, and every moment of your life is worthy, you guys. <laughs> 
You can do it. You can be the best that you can be, and we can do it together. It's going to take effort. It's going to take patience. It's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But if we don't try, then what the fuck is stopping us from just throwing ourselves off a bridge and giving up and saying, yeah, the planet is dying. The government hates us. The animals are leaving. The aliens are contacting us. We might be alone. It just might be you and me, but that's okay. Because do you really need anyone else? Once again, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Honey. This was such a weird sponsor integration, I'm glad they were down with it. Well, if you got anything good, uh, there is a deposit box next to the exit. So feel free to drop them off, you're just a prop. And I know we kind of mentioned this earlier, but Honey is an incredible browser extension that searches the internet for promo codes, coupons, and money-saving offers to save you as much as possible while shopping. It saves you money on all sorts of things, from shoes, to food delivery, to video games, to even Pokemon cards. The best part is it most likely works on all the sites you're already shopping on, so you're just leaving money on the table. So all you have to do is download the extension, shop around, and when you're checking out, Honey will take any coupons I can find and automatically apply them to your cart. So just go ahead and make online shopping easier today by going to joinhoney.com slash alpharad or by clicking the link in my description. And if you're still watching this video, thank you so much. And also, we have brand new merch at pleasebuymymerch.com. Yep. Yep. So that was the Coffee Pasta Theater. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for coming out. We did not rehearse this part, so they're going to awkwardly stand behind me. But... <laughs> This uh, turned out great. Again, thank you all for coming out. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys would like pictures or something like that. Um, we're gonna stay around here on the stage for a little while. We don't really have time for conversation or like signing anything. So we're just gonna be in and out. But if you wanna run up, get pictures with any of us, you're more than welcome to. As a little token, I hand sign the back of all the programs. So you have that. And you got Pokemon cards, be grateful. So, I hope you enjoyed the event. 
and we'll turn this into a video soon.